Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about autism and anime. Um, for those of you that don't know, there are a high number of autistic individuals that are actually very, very interested in Japanese animation. I think there are a few reasons why this might be the case. For one thing, because anime is nothing like the real world, they can basically see this as a way to basically escape from all the stresses of real life. Another thing is, a lot of anime uses very exaggerated facial expressions and they have these big faces and these like they tend to really exaggerate the emotions and I think this makes it much easier for an autistic person to be able to tell what a person, what a character is thinking or feeling because the expressions is so exaggerated. There are also a number of characters in anime that have some autistic like characteristics. I actually made a video on my channel earlier where I spoke about about anime characters that have autistic traits. I'll link to that in the description for you to check out. Now I myself am an anime fan as well as you probably gathered but I actually wasn't always. Like for a long time I didn't, I hadn't seen any anime at all. But when I found out that it was popular among autistic people this actually made me very very curious to check it out and quite interested. I did watch some reviews of some anime films like Spirited Away and various others. I did watch reviews of these on YouTube and this made me very interested. You know, since I did watch a lot of film reviews in general on YouTube and this is something I still tend to do a lot. However, I didn't actually see any anime until about 2016. In 2016, I went to a conference where Calvin Atkinson did a speech about depictions of autism in film and TV and he mentioned an anime series called Death Note, which had, which he believed had one or two autistic characters in it. You know, he mentioned, he spoke about how this series depicted autism and it definitely made, made me pretty interested. Later down the line, some of my sisters also mentioned that they had seen this Death Note and that it did have an autistic character, or at least a character that was implied to be autistic, even though they never outright said it. And this again, made me very, very interested. Like I've always been very interested to see depictions of autism in fiction. Like it tends to really, really interest me and I tend to be always very curious to see how they do it. So eventually I did check out this Death Note and I must say I was super hooked. Like it really blew my mind. You know, I thought, okay, this is an incredible series. I thought like the suspense, the way it really draws you into this world, I thought, really really great fantastic series at least for the first 25 episodes after that it does go downhill a little bit but for the most part really great series it actually had not only an autistic character but some other neurological conditions as well like a character who was in, who has traits of adhd and also someone who's clearly has psychopathy but watching death note definitely made me very interested in checking out other anime series as well i watched attack on titan another really really popular one also tokyo ghoul and a few others and I, eventually i became really really hooked and interested in this anime and it really started to become quite a special interest in a way well not not in a way it did become a special interest very much so i'm hoping to start posting more videos about anime on my other channel maybe some here on this channel as well if i if i manage to find ways to connect it to autism but I feel like I will be posting more on my other channel. So if you're interested, please do check out um, Alexander the Geek is my other channel. And please do hit the subscribe button on there as well if, you want, if you're interested in more anime content. I've only done one anime video so far. Um, but I do hope to do more. And I also may, maybe would like to talk about, do some more Star Wars videos and that kind of thing on the channel too. And other geeky related stuff. Now, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, please do hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And take care. Goodbye for now.